Right now, witches and wizards taking over Universal Orlando. I'm uh, Stuart Moore. And I'm Michelle Imperato. After months of anticipation, today is the grand debut of Diagon Alley. And you know, the park was packed with fans. They waited for hours for the first glimpse at attractions like Gringotts Bank and the Hogwarts Express. Westry's Ricky Klaus was there for the red carpet reveal. The faces of people entering Diagon Alley are so fun to watch. The oohs, the ahs, the smiles, the finger pointing, and the selfies. The first folks in line actually sprinted through the doors around 8 a.m. They entered moments after fireworks popped and confetti fell, a celebration of the long awaited addition to Hogsmeade at Islands of Adventure. One of the first people in line was 17 year old Angela Fairley, who kept crying with excitement. I will never forget this day. I feel like this will be bigger than my wedding day. Like, it's really exciting. I don't think about my wedding day, I think about today. <laughs> The grand opening of Universal Orlando's Diagon Alley is off to a fantastic start. The ride here so popular that the wait right now is 350 minutes. Six hours to escape from Gringotts, a bank for wizards. We asked some muggles who rode twice already if they would wait that long. If it's my first time, yes. I probably wouldn't. <laughs> we were lucky. For my first time, absolutely, yes. And it was worth it. It would be worth it. Other than the ride, people raved about the butterbeer ice cream and the fire breathing dragon. A Universal spokeswoman said the turnout is about what they expected. Diagon Alley closes with the park tonight at 10 p.m. For now, reporting in Universal Orlando, Ricky Klaus, Wash 2 News.